Hey everybody, in this video we are gonna discuss important questions based on the chapter Society, Law and Ethics. But before that, let's take a small tour of the different topics. We will be discussing some of the ethical issues. The first one is intellectual property rights. The second one is plagiarism and the third is the digital property rights. But what's the ethical issues? In this, individual will choose among right or wrong. Obviously, we will be choosing the right one. Before getting the knowledge of these issues, let's try to understand some of the terminologies. The first one is copyright. These are the rights which are given to the creator for their original creative work. What is its use? So that no one else can use their work. Here is one more term that is patent. If someone invented something, so for their inventions, we will be giving some collection of rights. You might have heard this word that someone has patent on their name for their some discoveries. And what about trademarks? It is related to logos, shape, color, sounds and some of the words. We cannot just use their work for our own purpose. Now let's discuss the first right, intellectual property rights. These are the rights which are given to the owner of the information. The owner can decide how it can be exchanged, share or distributed and can quote price for it. Now let's discuss the violation of these rights. The first is plagiarism, the second one is copyright infringement and the third one is trademark infringement. It is nothing but stealing someone else works and presenting as your own. Here are some of the act which are considered as plagiarism if you are using some author's works without giving credit to them or using someone else's work in the incorrect format or if you are trying to modify some music composition. Hope you understood if you are using someone else's work without giving credit to them. It means it's a plagiarism and it's an offense. The second one is copyright infringement. If you are using copyrighted work without the consent of the owner, then it is called as copyright infringement. Here are some of the examples of copyright infringement. If you are selling pirated books, softwares, online piracy, or you are performing in public without taking permission of the playwright. Here is the third violation of IPR. It is trademark infringement. It is unauthorized usage of marks that is identical to the registered trademark. So you cannot just copy other trademark. There are some rights which are assigned to digital property also. Any digital information comes under digital property and you will get some rights for the protection of your digital properties. There are some more topics in this chapter. If you wish, you can go through it. Now we will be discussing the important questions based on this chapter. Here is first question, stealing someone else intellectual work and representing it as their own is called as plagiarism. If another person's ideas, expression or some work is expressed as own's work, it is a case of plagiarism. Alright, let's move ahead to the next question. Which term refers to the legal protection given to the creators of original work? It's not a trademark, not even patent. And plagiarism is an offense. So the correct option is copyright. Copyright gives the protection to the creator. That's why without giving credit, we cannot use others work. Moving ahead to the next question. What does term plagiarism refers to? We already discussed. If we are copying someone else work and presenting it as your own. Here is one more MCQs we are gonna discuss. To make exact copy of a program is term as. It is mentioned as program. It means it is related to software piracy. In this way we discuss some of the MCQs. You may also get some theory questions. So let's discuss. In this we need to define intellectual property right and plagiarism. These topics are completely theoretical. You can frame your answers in your own words. Look at some sample answers. The first is IPR. It is the property rights given to the creators for their creations. And the creation can be anything. Some inventions, some work, symbols, name, etc. We know already what is plagiarism. If we are using someone else's works as our own, it is nothing but plagiarism and it's an offense. That's why it is considered as violation of intellectual property right. 
In this way, we discuss some of the questions based on this chapter. Hope you got an idea the type of questions you will be getting in the exams. If you found this whole playlist useful, don't forget to share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up. If you want me to cover any topic from the class 11 portion, let me know in the comments. All the best for your exams. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos.